Bordeaux climbed up to seventh in the table before the international break with a victory over Nantes and a draw in Nice. They were determined to stay within touching distance of the European places on Sunday as they welcome Monaco. The Principality side may have improved this autumn, claiming five wins in seven league outings, but they have only triumphed once on the road all season. Leonardo Jardim's side determined to improve that record at the Matmut Atlantique and potentially go as high as sixth. Well, the men in red and white certainly made a brighter start and they took a deserved lead on 15 minutes. Islam Samani started it off. Alexander Golovin then with a cross into the area for Wissam Ben Yedda. And there was Slimani to provide the finish. The Algerian getting his sixth of the campaign after being set up by his partner in crime, Ben Yedda. The France international staying on side. And that was a 1-0 to the visitors with 15 minutes gone. However, Bordeaux drew level on the half-hour mark. A corner in from Nicolas de Preville and Pablo powering in the equaliser. The Brazilian defender getting his third goal of the campaign. All of them from set pieces, his previous efforts against Brest and Toulouse. And with no other major chances in the first half, it was 1-1 at the break. Monaco was ever looking good in attack but let down by their defence with Christophe Urios, the coach of the Bordeaux Begla rugby team, a VIP guest in the stands. Well, this was the key moment for Paolo Sosa's side in the second half. A free kick from Depreville, handball in the area from Slimani, and the referee awarding a penalty. To add insult to injury for Monaco, Slimani was also given a second yellow card. So the visitors down to ten men. And to Preville, celebrating his 200th game in Ligue 1 Conferama with a 40-second goal. That going with his earlier assist as the 28-year-old moved on to four for the season. Benjamin Leconte going the right way, but there was too much power on the shot. Bordeaux looking to put the game to bed around 13 minutes from time. A good ball from De Preville into substitute Yassine Benrahou. But here's low effort coming back off the post. Well, Monaco also had their chances to equalise in the second half, but it finished 2-1. And that means that Bordeaux will finish the weekend in third or fourth place, depending on the Marseille results. Really starting to come good under Souza. Monaco, though, slipped back to 14th in the table.